While you're working on a job, Estimator Express automatically generates a set of comprehensive building regulation notes, which are based on the job type and estimating calculators used in the estimate. These notes can be used to support your full plans application for building regulations approval. They can also be used on site to help you ensure work complies with building regulations when carrying out work under the building notice procedure. Please be aware that all automatically generated notes are for guidance only. It's essential that you review and adapt them for your specific job. In this video, I'll show you how to review and edit the building regs notes. I'll then show you how to print or export the notes. Before you create the building regs notes, you need to complete the client and site address details. Click job settings on the navigator. Then click view and edit contact and address information. Fill out the client and site address details. For an extension or renovation job, tick this box to show that the site address is the same as the client address. Once you've completed the client contact details, click outputs on the navigator. From here you can see a complete list of all the outputs available. In the written documents section, alongside the quote and stage payment documents, you'll find the building regs notes. Click the open button next to building regs notes. A preview of the building reg notes appears in the middle of the screen. You'll see that the building regs notes are highlighted on the navigator on the left. This shows that you're currently viewing a preview of the complete document. You can drill down into the different sections of the building regs notes using the navigator. There's a cover page, general notes, and notes relating to the particular estimating calculators used in the job. You can zoom in and out of the building regs notes preview using the buttons on the ribbon at the top of the screen. Alternatively, you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and use the scroll wheel of your mouse to zoom in and out. You can also use the previous and next page buttons to navigate the document. When you first open the building regs notes, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see the main settings on the settings pane. From here you can change a number of the key settings for the building regs notes. The first thing to consider is the profile. There are two standard building regulation notes profiles in Estimator Express, one for extensions and one for new builds. A profile is selected automatically based on the job type. You can of course change the profile and set up your own. The profile determines the U values and also the contents of the paragraphs within the notes. As new builds are subject to different regulations, the new build profile is different in four main areas. Fire alarm regulations, disabled access, ventilation rates and thermal performance. Taking disabled access as an example, in a new build, level access, wheelchair accessible doors, raised height sockets and lowered light switches will all be required. This is reflected in the contents of the notes. If you're doing renovation work or a loft conversion, select the extension profile. If you need to select a different profile, you can do so by unticking the automatically set profile box and selecting the profile you want from the drop down box. Alternatively, you can add your own profile. To add your own profile, click New. Type in a name for the new profile. Select a profile to copy and use as a template from the box and then click Add to Job. Your new profile then opens up and you can tailor the profile to suit your needs. The new profile will have inherited the U values and paragraphs from the profile you copied. You can now edit these as needed. From the main settings tab, you can also switch off the cover page if you wish. Click apply changes to see your changes in the document. I'll switch the cover page back on for now. You can control which materials are shown in the notes. If you select Show Key Materials, you'll see all of the materials you'd usually specify in Building Regs Notes. Alternatively, you can show all materials to see a comprehensive list of materials in the Building Regs Notes. You can also choose which descriptions are used for the materials. You can use the material name, customer friendly descriptions or plans specific descriptions. The next tab on the settings pane is the fonts tab. From here you can set the font styles, size, colour and so on for the whole document. Next we have the U values tab. 
A U-Values dataset is specified automatically based on the selected Building Regs Notes profile. As I started with the extension profile, the extension U-Values dataset has been selected. The U-Values you see here are the minimum required to comply with building regulations. You can change the U-Values for each element of the build. For example, if you've specified materials with superior thermal properties, you can change the U-Value here to reflect the material choice. Use the navigator on the left of the screen to navigate around the different sections of the document. Click Header Footer to set up the layout and contents of the header and footer. Click Cover Page to edit the cover page. The cover page is populated automatically using keywords from elsewhere in the software. The job description, client details, site details and so on. Assuming your address details have been completed, this information should appear correctly. On the cover page settings, you can edit the text by typing directly into the box. You can delete text, or you can add other text fields using the keywords drop down box. You can also import your company logo onto the cover page. Tick the include logo tick box, and then click browse. Locate your company logo image file, click on it to select it, and then click open. Click apply changes, and then scroll down the screen to see your company logo. You can rescale the image using the size box. Increase the number to make the image larger or decrease the number to make the image smaller. Use the bottom margin arrows to position the logo relative to the bottom of the page. Don't forget to click apply changes to see what the changes look like. Now let's take a look at the general notes. Click general notes on the navigator. This section of the notes contains general notes on how the building will be constructed. The text is relevant to an extension or new build as appropriate for the profile. When general notes is selected on the navigator, a general notes tab appears on the settings pane. The list shows all of the paragraphs in the general notes section. If you hover your cursor over one of the paragraph headings, the paragraph appears so you can see at a glance what it contains. You can also scroll down the preview of the document to see the paragraph in situ. You can edit the text in any of the paragraphs. Click on the paragraph you want to edit, and then click the edit button. Type any changes directly into the box. Once complete, click save. And you'll see that your changes appear in the document. You can also delete any of the paragraphs from the notes. The paragraph will be removed from this particular job. Highlight the paragraph to select it, and then click Delete. Click Yes to the box asking if you're sure you want to delete it. You can bring notes in using the Import button. Click Import, select the paragraph you want to add to the notes, and then click Add to Job. You can reorder the notes by dragging them into a different position. Click and hold down the left mouse button and drag the notes to the position you want them in. You can also create new paragraphs using the New button. Give the paragraph a title, then type directly into the text box. Alternatively, you can paste some text from another document using the Ctrl and V keys on your keyboard. Now let's have a look at the Estimating Calculator notes. Click Estimating Calculators on the Navigator. From here you can control the general settings for all of the estimating calculator notes. The first setting allows you to decide whether to include an introductory paragraph for all estimating calculator types, whether estimating calculators of that type are included or not. Next we have the estimating calculators tick boxes. The estimating calculator tick boxes enable you to control which estimating calculators are included in the notes. Untick a box to remove an estimating calculator from the notes. Now let's have a look at how you can edit an estimating calculator type. Click on an estimating calculator type on the navigator. Walls, for example, is an estimating calculator type. An estimating calculator type can include one or multiple estimating calculators within it. For the walls type, there's an introductory paragraph, which explains how the walls will be constructed generally. Some estimating calculator types will not have an introductory paragraph, as it's not necessarily appropriate. Where there is a paragraph, you can edit the text by typing directly into the text box on the settings pane. 
You can insert U values from the drop down box if you need to. You can then save your changes to the library using the save button. You can also delete the paragraph and import one from the library. Now let's have a look at editing an individual estimating calculator. Click on an estimating calculator on the navigator, for example brick and block cavity wall. There's no introductory paragraph for this estimating calculator as the explanatory notes for the walls cover all of the walls beneath it. However, you can add a note if you wish by clicking New to create a new one. If you selected the option to show key materials on the main settings tab, within an estimating calculator you'll see a list of all the material types. Use the tick boxes to show or hide the different materials. If you select the All Materials option, all materials will be displayed by default and you won't have these options here. Remember to click Apply Changes to see your changes in the document. Continue working your way through the estimating calculator types and estimating calculators in this way. Of course, once you've got your building regs notes set up just the way you want them, you can save the settings to use in other jobs. Please note though, as each job could contain different estimating calculators, you must review the different estimating calculator types and estimating calculators every time. To save the building regs notes settings to use in future jobs, or to apply to other jobs, click the Save to the Library button. Select which settings you want to save, or leave them all selected, and then click OK. Of course, each time you're working on the building regs notes for a new job, you must check the profile selected is appropriate for the job. To apply these settings to other existing jobs, you would open up the job and click the Import from the Library button. If you want to export the notes as a text or PDF document, click the Export button and select the export file type from the drop-down menu. In this case, I'm going to select Word document. Check the file name and click Save. You can then view and edit the notes in the usual way in Word. You can also print the notes directly from Estimator Express using the Print button. If you want to export the notes to Plans Express to add to your drawing, click the Export to Plans Express button. You can then insert the notes into your drawing using the Spec Notes button on the Drawing and Annotation tab. So, to recap, start by clicking Outputs on the Navigator and then click the Open button next to Building Regs Notes in the Written Documents. Ensure the correct profile is selected in the Main Settings tab on the Settings pane on the right hand side of the screen. Click onto the different sections of the Building Reg Notes on the Navigator on the left of the screen. You can then review the contents of each section of the notes. Once you're happy with the notes, click Print, Export or Export to Plans Express. If the Building Reg Notes are set up in a way you'd like to use for other jobs, Click the Save to the Library button. Over to you.